put aluminum foil in a pot of boiling water. For years, I worked as a housekeeper for wealthy people. This trick saved me a lot of nerves at work. When I first heard about this trick, I didn't want to believe it worked. Place a pot of water on the stove. Then bring the water to a boil. Cut aluminum foil into squares. Make them into walnut-sized balls. Drop them into the boiling water. I also throw in the cutlery that needs polishing, with tough-to-remove stains and spots. I boil them for five minutes and turn off the stove. I lay them on a kitchen towel and dry them off. The cutlery doesn't need polishing. Just dry them, and they're ready. They have no stains and shine beautifully. The steel has no spots and looks like new. Every dishwasher has a hidden function. I use it when the dishwasher is full and won't accommodate any more dishes. Everyone knows that the dishwasher won't function properly if you load it with large bowls or pots that block the blades. You also can't wash tall glasses that won't fit on the upper rack. You've surely faced this problem before. It's impossible to use the dishwasher in such cases. You end up taking out and rearranging dishes endlessly. But it turns out that the same dishwasher can accommodate all these dishes. Tall glasses can fit on the upper rack. Or you'll finally be able to place large dishes on the lower rack. How is this possible? The dishwasher has a certain hidden function. Few people use it. Some dishwasher users don't even know about it. Yet it's incredibly important for everyday dishwasher use. In every dishwasher, you can adjust the upper rack to two different heights. You can lower it or raise it. If you're loading tall dishes on the lower rack, then raise the upper rack. If you have tall glasses to wash, lower the upper rack. Some dishwashers have special buttons for this. In others, you just need to grab the upper rack when it's extended. Are you using this dishwasher function? Did you know about it? This trick with a dishwasher towel will dry wet dishes in just five minutes and without any wiping. Do you ever find that your dishwasher doesn't dry the dishes? What do you do when you want to take out plates, bowls, cups, and containers, but they're still wet? I used to take a towel and dry such dishes by hand. It took a lot of time, but I didn't like the water streaks it left behind. This problem often occurs with plastic containers. Plastic dishes don't retain heat, so they dry more slowly. You often take them out of the dish, washer still wet. Sometimes even regular dishes or cups are wet. However, there is a way to ensure that dishes, including plastic ones, are dry. You won't see a single drop of water on them anymore. The problem will disappear in just a few minutes. All you need is a towel, or even two. But you won't be wiping the dishes with them at all. The towel will do all the work for you. After a while, the dishes will be dry. Just use a regular dish towel. When the dishwasher finishes its cycle, pass it through the dishwasher door and close it. The dry towel will absorb all the moisture from the dishwasher. You can hang even two towels through the dishwasher door. The effect will be 100%. A small terry towel will also work very well. In just a few minutes, your dishes will be dry. Take a stocking and put it on your hand. This trick will ensure that you never again have damaged clothes after taking them out of the washing machine. If your clothes have pulled threads after washing, you're probably wondering what's causing it. Often, you don't remember if the threads were pulled before washing. You don't know if the washing machine is damaging and tearing your clothes. So, you're afraid to wash delicate clothes and sweaters in the machine to avoid damaging them. Lace lingerie, tablecloths, and curtains. Are precious to you? Are you even worried about stockings? Maybe you've already started washing all these things by hand, and it's wasting a lot of your time. However, pulled threads on clothes often make them no longer wearable. They can't always be repaired. So you'll simply have to throw away items that get snagged. That's why it's always good to have stockings on hand. You'll quickly find that the problem of pulled threads disappears. Take some stockings that you no longer wear. I never throw such stockings away. I use them for many things. For example, I'll show you a simple trick now. Put the stocking on your hand. It must not be torn. It must be intact. Do this before putting clothes into the washing machine. With the stocking on your hand, wipe the edge of the drum. Rub the entire drum with the stocking. Thoroughly wipe every nook and cranny of the drum, including those edges inside the drum. Now, check the stocking. If it's intact, nothing has snagged it, it means your washing machine is working correctly. 
it's not the one damaging your clothes. If there are runs on the stockings, you'd quickly locate the place responsible for the holes and pulled threads in clothes. Did you know this trick? Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Place the pillow in a trash bag and see what happens. Everyone knows that clean pillows are key to a good night's sleep. Despite using a pillowcase, yellow stains from sweat often appear, along with particles of skin and dust. Such a pillow quickly becomes a breeding ground for bacteria, fungi, and dust mites, leading to poor sleep and allergies. Pillows should be washed every few months. But what to do with them in the meantime? There's a simple way to refresh them in just a few minutes without the need for washing. Grab a trash bag, ensuring it's larger than the pillow. You want to refresh. Also, get some baking soda ready. Place the pillow in the trash bag and sprinkle baking soda on it. Seal the bag and shake it to ensure the soda covers the entire pillow. Rotate the bag with the pillow on all sides. The soda needs to mix well in the bag, and when you peek inside, you'll see and feel the powder on the pillow's surface. Seal the bag again and leave it for several minutes. During this time, the soda will start working. Baking soda neutralizes unpleasant odors and absorbs excess moisture. After a few minutes, take the pillow out of the bag. There will be a lot of soda on it. Grab a vacuum and use a clean attachment to vacuum the pillow thoroughly from both sides. This will leave the pillow free of contaminants that could negatively impact your health and sleep. Without washing, it will be refreshed. The unpleasant odor of sweat and moisture, even if slight, will disappear. Some stains will fade or vanish. Your sleep will significantly improve, and all it takes is a few minutes and a bit of baking soda. The underwear will regain its snowy white color without the use of chlorine bleach. Pour hot water, very hot, into a bowl. Add three tablespoons of baking soda to it. This is a commonly known product for its whitening properties. If you don't have baking soda, you can use three or four packages of baking powder. Baking powder is a mixture with soda in it, so it has a weaker effect than soda alone. Also, add two tablespoons of salt to the water. Salt whitens and removes stains. Our grandmothers already used it for this purpose when doing laundry. Finally, add two tablespoons of laundry detergent, preferably designed for white clothes. Mix everything with a spoon or spatula. Immerse the cotton underwear, soak it thoroughly, and leave it for at least 20 minutes. Take it out of the bowl and put it in the washing machine as usual with other white items and wash it. Delicate lingerie, lace panties, and bras will look like new. You can also whiten them with another home method. In a bowl of warm water, not boiling, Add baking soda and laundry detergent for white clothes in the same proportion. It can be two tablespoons for a smaller amount of items. Dissolve them well and soak the lingerie. Leave it to soak for about 20 minutes and wash it as usual in the washing machine on the Delicate Fabrics program. After washing, you will notice the difference. The lingerie will be much whiter 